Welcome, 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 welcome back to a long, 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 long break. I am finally back. Welcome back to Leah's Design Studio. It almost felt weird saying that because it's been so long. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my most, my best seller bouquet from start to finish. So I use these. I use these rose heads from Amazon. I think they're like $21 or something. And you get 200 of them, which isn't bad. Then I also get these as well. Um, I got 400 of them for like $9 off of Amazon. Yeah, I'm putting the girls on for but if you like this bouquet make sure you go shop on my tiktok shop and on itsy everything will be linked in the description down below you already know um i'm gonna try and do this slow and not speed it up so i'm gonna try and talk while i do it but don't hold me to that okay so first thing i do is heat up my hot glue gun i have a big one and i have a small one but I found myself, okay, so what happened was one day, this small one had ran out of glue sticks, right? Little did I know I had glue sticks somewhere. I just had hit them for myself. So I had ran out of glue sticks. My mama had took my car and I didn't want to drive her truck like far. So I drove it to our nearest Dollar General, which is like two minutes away from the house, right? Okay, so I ended up buying this bigger one and then I finally bought some small glue sticks and I'm back using this one. And must I say, this is so much lighter than, the, than that one I bought. So I'm making a hundred count. So first thing I do, well, second thing I do, first thing you do, heat up the hot glue gun because it takes a minute. Start counting the roses because you need to make sure you accurately doing this. You don't want to be giving them 50 or 75 and it's supposed to be a hundred because once you get over like 50, it kind of looks like 50 could look like 75. That makes sense. Like it depending on how you wrap it. So I don't count these sticks. So I count the roses. When she run out of roses, you know you're done. So I just. Once you run out of roses, you know you're done. So I just grab sticks. It's probably more than what I need. I don't know, but I'm not gonna count. So.
have all um, hundred of my roses. At this point, you can unplug that hot glue gun because you won't need it for about 30 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how long it takes you to wrap. Um, I'm currently waiting on my wrapping paper to get delivered by Amazon. So, obviously, y'all will know this by my status anyways. I'm going to go ahead and, like, prep the roses. Like, put them together. But I won't be wrapping until, like, later tonight or tomorrow evening. Depending on when my wrapping paper comes. So, yeah, Amazon taking a precious time with my cargo today. But, um, yes. So two ways you can do this. Um, way one is like a lot of people have done on a lot of tutorials. You know, they get the roses and they'll stack them. And you'll have a, a piece of tape around here and they'll take the tape around every like five roses or so. That way is a good method if you have less than 50 roses. Um, having a hundred of these foam roses really don't work like that only because i don't like my roses to be smushed um if it's less than 50 it works pretty good but if it's more than 50 i do this other method that i'm gonna show you guys but yeah that is a way to save money if it's less than 50 but if it's i tried that the other day when it was like 100 and i wrapped them let me tell you it was not fun at all so if it's under 100 i use this right here um, a lot of people use white styrofoam i use this i've always used this so i've always stuck to this this can get messy <laughs> very very messy Thank you. 
going around with the tape. Ooh, this is how it looks, right? This is the shape. Okay, for a hundred count, that ain't bad. thing I'm gonna do <laughs> is prepare my paper. So, I get this paper from Amazon. I cut the edges off. You're gonna see it's not gonna be straight. But when I do the design, you won't be able to tell. But I cut this off because I don't like it. <laughs> not for this design. And Amazon doesn't really have plain white paper that isn't like super transparent. Like, um, she had this paper that was like such a good shade of white. But then they went up by like $5 on it and I'm not paying that price when I paid like less than $3 for it. And I just refuse. So until they put it back on sale, I'm gonna be buying this and couldn't edge it. This is the hot pressing, whatever you want to call it. I think it's the press iron. It was under $30 if I'm not mistaken. And this is the stickers. So I'm just gonna put 40 on it because I don't want to put something like too like, you know, yeah. So we gonna put Okay, so the way you would do this is you would line it up. I just want to see how I'm going to do this. So I'm just going to put it on here first before I use the hot glue gun. angle I could get to show y'all how I wrap it so just bear with me so I always staple one of these sheets to this design 
I got these two socks for Sheen. I can link it down in the description down below. This wrapping method is nothing special. Like, I stapled this to this right here just because the width is so big on these flowers. I do top and bottom. I get the flowers. I always make sure I align it uh, with that uh, pretty flower studio. And as y'all can see, it ain't gonna fit. So of course, I knew I was gonna need three papers, but I just wanted to show you guys. I knew I needed three papers. So on the next one, I won't have to leave as much room. I can kind of do like a half of the thing because I only need a little bit to make it work. So like that will be enough.